Kennedy announcements on Friday the 19th at 6 p.m. Rio Hondo College's 50th anniversary celebration, celebration at Industry Hills Expo Center at 16200 Temple Avenue in the City of Industry. That's taking place on Friday the 19th at 6 p.m. On Saturday, April 20th at 11 a.m. at El Monte Parks and Recreation's Cheerleader Jamboree at Lambert Park Gymnasium at 11431 McGurk Avenue in El Monte. On Saturday the 20th also, uh, same day at 4 p.m., we have the, uh, that's a great word, Sorotomus. Uh, that's what I said. Sorotomus International uh, of South Almonte Scholarship Spring Tea, uh, Dean Shively Middle School at 1431 North Central Avenue in Almonte. And then on Thursday, April 25th at 10.30 a.m., the City of Almonte Parks uh, Works Yard and Transportation Division Grand Opening is at 3990 Arden Drive in Almonte. And the last at uh, Friday, April 26 at 12.30 p.m. is the Almonte South, Al South Almonte Chamber of Commerce 30th Annual Golf Classic California Country Club 1509 Workman Mill Road, City of Industry. So those are your announcements for the com upcoming community events. So once again, we're going to rejoin our guest, Ruben Castillo. And uh, Ruben, there's some things I, I wanted to ask you about. A, a lot of the uh, major sporting uh, leagues, the NBA, the uh, NFL, MLB, they have players unions. Uh, I just found out that uh, the boxing uh, or, um, associations don't have unions. You know, we've been trying to, to get something, something from... We even had John McCain tell, you know... Senator, take, John, Senator McCain. John McCain. Take this to... To Congress, it's never happened. You see, here's the bad thing. Dodger players, football players, basketball players, when they retire, they have a pension. We don't. The only pension that we had is somebody back in the, in the early 70s started taking monies and, and from promoters and putting it. It's so, and they were telling me that they took, they took 3%. From 1% to 3%, so I was giving up 3%, okay? So it was really out of, weird. Out of, I, out of my purses. For, and, and then when I retired and I had that, it was really weird because every fighter I knew was getting 25000 And I know I made, especially at that time, with Alexis, with Salvador, or these fight, title fights, I made more money. And all of them were making the same amount of money. I'm not worried about that. I just, what I want, and like what you just said, Louis, we need, look at horse racing. Every sport except boxing has a union. We don't have a union, bro. 99% of us retire broke, okay? So what do we have? Nothing. People like me, people like Carlos Palomino, people like Mando Muñiz, people like you want to do stuff, form some kind of organization. Let's do fundraising. I do golf tournaments all the time. I started my very first golf tournament when I was 19 for the Special Olympics. Bro, we got to do something to help people like Bobby Chacon, like Danny Lopez, like Mando, like like uh, the Relas brothers, Zach Padilla, all these guys. You know, Zach, he's working. At, what fight? Did, you got the very few. Manny Pacquiao, Oscar De La Hoya, Sugar Ray Leonard. Those are the very few, bro, that come out. Look at Joe Lewis, bro. The, Joe Lewis retired broke. There's, there's plenty of resources. There's, there's plenty of people with powerful voices. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya, now not just an ex-fighter, ex-champion, but a promoter. A, a, a renowned promoter, a, a person in the place of a, a, a powerful position, but is it because there's not enough people that say anything about it, or is there some resistance? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. The WBC, the WBO, the IBF, the IBO, the UBC, ICU, you see me, all <laughs> these alphabet titles, championships, bro, they, they make money off the fighters. The championship belts, the, re the 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 promoters, or even now the fighters have to pay for that belt. That belt's three thousand dollars. So when they win a title, they've got to pay for their own trophy. That's exactly right. It doesn't bro. come out of the purse of the promotional. Before it did, before the promoter paid. Now I understand, but it's just been so long since I've been affiliated. But now I'm coming back, bro, because I want to be a voice for us fighters. You know, there I, I've been very lucky, Louis. I was very blessed. I, I got out in and I got out with my faculties. But there's a lot of us that didn't, bro. A lot of us that didn't. And I'm going to speak for those. I want to talk to Senator John McCain. 
Michael Carbajal knows him very well. We're going to now, on on, on, uh, on this Saturday, on Showtime, you have the Canelo fight. I'm going to work the fight. I'm going to become a judge. That's now right. I'm going to start scoring fights. You know why, Louis? Because I want to right a bunch of wrongs. Look at all the, the terrible judging, the terrible uh, 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 decisions. And, the and disservices that are done to these fighters who train for weeks and months to pour their hearts out for X amount of dollars, that, that's not enough of, of a reason to give someone a fair uh, judgment. It, 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 it's just... And, the, 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 and Louis, you people know, don't want to say what it is. Right, and it's not about the money. It's life changing. Once they they crown you the world champion, your life has just changed. People like me, like you, like all these other that that really love the sport, uh, as a, as opposed to the some judges that you they get bought. You know, I don't want to see that. I want to be somebody to too because I, I told I, I'm going to tell you, Louis. I told all of my friends out there, and and if I didn't talk to you, I want you to know right now, I'm going to be a judge. And if your fighter is fighting before me, he better bring his A game. Because if he doesn't, he's not going to win that fight. You see, the first guy that you ever... You can't reward a bad you, performance. You can't. You can't. Look, I've been on that end of the stick. See, these judges have never been in a ring. They don't know what it's like to prepare. They don't know how, how, many, how many training camps we go to for four months at a time. You're training to win that ultimate goal, to be the world champion. Look, I never became the world champion. But I'm going to tell you something, Louis. I thought to, to, to validate what you did in your sport was to become a champion. It's to become a Hall of Famer. Yeah, which you are. And I did it. World Boxing Hall <laughs> of Fame. So, so now, now, Louis, I'm going to try to right a bunch of wrongs, bro. If somebody comes up to me and offers me money, I'm going to expose them. That's how we stop it, bro. You know, it, I think that's it, it, it's great. You finally do what so many of us who get turned off by the sport. It's, you know, uh, why watch the fight? The last one sucked. It, it, it was fixed. Like, right, really? They fix fights? Come on, dude. We're in 2013. They don't fix fights. But then you see these debacles, these judgment. How do you have a unanimous decision to get somebody who got knocked down three times and you have one judge say they voted, that they won the fight? And I think it's great that you're doing that. I think it's also a shame that with Major League Baseball had to have Congress come and govern their own sport. Mm -hmm. And now you're talking about Senator John McCain and having to, to maybe involve uh, uh, politics. Well, well you know, this. what we really want more than anything else, is what I want to see, I want to see fighters like Bobby, Danny, all these other fi ex-fighters and stuff that, that have been the world champions. Like I said, 99% of us retire broke. I want to see them have insurance. I want to see them to uh, uh, have a, where they have monies, get paid monies monthly. Look, I know a friend of mine that plays golf that he's milking the system, bro. <laughs> so do they not have a we pension? Absolutely not. Not. Now, when I go to, to, to San Antonio, I'm going to meet with Jose Suleiman. I think he's one of the greatest uh, there is out there. He gave me four chances. You know, with in saying that, I'm going to ask him. How about I get an insurance company? Because I have a friend of mine, David. David Quiet has an insurance company that he's a broker. He'll he'll drop the paperwork. Get these guys pensions. Get them insured for the rest of their lives. I mean, this is long overdue. I mean, dude, come on. Bo now. Boxing has been a staple in sports since you just, since you, since Jack Johnson. Yeah. Those early Look champions. how far back that goes, bro. The people. It, the, before TV, people used to gather around a and listen a ra to yes. listen to the right. fight. Right. So why not? We're the we're the most lucrative sport in the world. Why do we not have a a a, a pension? Why don't we have a union? We don't have anything, bro. Yeah, we're that, we're that, left that, that's we're kind of left mean. by yes, and they only remember us by our last fight. They don't well, now. Now let me get into something. Uh, you know, we're we're running out of time, and I gotta have you back. There's a ton of stuff to cover. So what about people, the young fighters who are in the sport now? What about the safety for them? Are, are, there, are there any concerns about fighters uh, getting um, um, being left in the ring too long? Or is starting too soon? Yeah. He, here's the thing. I, I, and I'm glad you asked that, Louis. I have a grandson. 
that was brought to this world to play baseball at the age of five he's hitting 50 miles an hour in the batting cages <laughs> dude there's kids in junior high waiting for him to get out unbelievable he was a wrestler okay he got all these trophies wrestling since he was three now he's eight years old they found a tumor in his brain bro oh my god thank god that we found it quick enough he had surgery they took the cancer there's two of them one in the back of his head, one in the front. The one in the front had a tumor growing on, I mean, a, a cyst growing on that tumor. You see, we don't know if it's from him getting slammed into the mat. How do we know? But you know what? I, look, all my daughters, they're adults now. They know how to fight. They know how to defend themselves. I have a granddaughter that lives with me, Chanel. When she's five, she's like, I'm going to have her in him. da 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 to defend herself. Not to fight, but to defend herself. I can train her. I'll show her how to fight. I'll show her how to defend herself. I, look, my son Ruben, we talked about him earlier. He was 18. I don't... I, look, I don't want him to fight. I think college is for him. I He he was 17-0 and 0 as an amateur. I didn't want him to turn pro, and he wasn't going to, and I'm not going to let him turn pro, and it's over. He's only 23 years old. He, they don't have to. See, when they're young like that, I started when I was nine, Louis. You have a lot of protection. We have a headgear. It's not so much the danger. I don't think. I think it's cool. But a lot of these kids from Mexico, from other countries that are turning pro at the age of 15, that's dangerous. But here in the United States, I don't think it's so dangerous. What's more da what's, what's dangerous? That resting, my, my grandson had brain surgery. You know, we don't know. So, so, but there is, do you think there's enough done, being done to protect the young fighters? Or at least in this country? What we don't, what you don't want to see, and I understand and I get it, what you don't want to see though, Louis, is fighting a world title fight with headgears. That's going to diminish all of boxing, although it's a dangerous sport. You think I got a dangerous sport? Lafitte Pinkai's got a worse sport. <laughs> we got you, him coming yeah, up. You get, you're talking about a sport. Bro, how would you like to fall out of a car going 40 miles an hour and you got eight cars behind you? I have trouble falling out of bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so tell me about, you've got some uh, a, a golf tournament coming up. You you have other uh, events. You're a part of a uh, uh, boxing association. Well, you know, I, 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 my, my heart is with the World Boxing, the, 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 the World Boxing Hall of Fame, but that's kind of dissolved because of a lawsuit and all that stuff. But there's another... Another organization called Golden State Boxing. What are they? What is it? They they doing? help fighters. Now, Golden State Boxing uh, 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 is it's it's a it's a it's a foundation that helps that takes uh, that you go to lunch with fighters and all that stuff, and they pay for lunch. They have Christmas parties. They pay for the Christmas party. They care about fighters. I want to be able. Like they give back. Yeah, they give back, and I want to do something for them. But before we go, I know we're running out of time. I want everybody to know now what I'm doing now is merchant processing, bro. And I want you to know something, Louis. For every credit card processing, I there's credit card. Let's say you have Louis Liquor Store and they processed, okay, you get credit card fees. I lower your fees and I get you to, what we're going to do, I have a foundation in Bakersfield. It's called Lord's Little Angels. We help, Lord's Little Angels. We have families, help families bury their children who can't afford it. Who's got insurance to bury the kids? I want to start doing something in our, in our community now. I want to bring it here. I can't raise money here to get a big So what we're, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, Louis, is for every time we swipe a card, a, a company that we have, that let's say your liquor's okay, I want to, I, I'll lower your fees. Okay, I've got. You. Every time they swipe a card, we're going to have a portion go to Lord's the Angels. Okay, bro. That is great. Well, Ruben, thank hey, you. Hey, it's brother. my pleasure. We'll have and you back. I in, hope so. I hope so. We had a good time. Have you back. Thanks again for, for stopping by and checking out City Lou's Sports View. I want to thank our guest, Ruben Castillo, and we'll see you soon. Check this out. Uh, if you don't get to see this on your local public access, Channel 3, you get to see this on YouTube. So uh, until then, thanks for uh, stopping by City Lou's Sports View. And remember, at all times, keep your head in the game.